Okay, review number two. The second lesson we covered was translations, uh, vertical and horizontal. Uh, that lesson was okay. It went okay. Uh, not as good as parent function, so it gets progressively harder, especially when we're dealing with horizontal functions. So, uh, let's talk about how you know they're translations and not dilations. So, first of all, you know it's a translation because the, the shape itself did not change. It just moved locations. So, here's the original one. It just moved down four spaces. Here's the original one. It just moved uh, over four spaces. It looks exactly the same, except in a different location. That's what translation means. Dilations, on the other hand, let me find it, let me find it. Dilations, the original function and the new function look nothing alike. Like, the original function is a semicircle. The, the new function is not a semicircle, not even close. It's, it's a, I don't know what you would call that, it's like half of an oval. The original function is a semicircle. The new function is not a semicircle. It's so that's how you can tell a dilation apart from a translation. One more time. A translation. The shape does not change. But it does move to a new location. So anyways, uh, the quick way to do these is compare the vertex it was at the origin now it is at negative four it was a I'm gonna abbreviate by the way vertical translation I am super lazy if you want to be super lazy and write vertical translation like that abbreviate I'm perfectly okay with that <laughs> vertical translation down four okay um, you guys did really good describing the hard part is the equation part. So let's go ahead and do the easy part, which is describing what happened. This one is a horizontal translation. Horizontal translation to the right. Four spaces. Um, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Hopefully it comes back to me. Original function. The new function is the blue one. It moved up two spaces. That is a vertical translation up two. Oop. Vertical translation up two spaces. That's what I was going to say. Vertical means up and down. Horizontal is left and right. Those are two terms you must know, unfortunately. That's just the way it is. Mm, good God, I need to shave. Mm, ain't happening, though. Um... Original is here. The new one moved left two spaces left. So it's a horizontal translation left two spaces. Now let's do the hard part. Writing the equation. We're going to do vertical first. Vertical is easy. Horizontal is where it gets your mind gets blown. So Vertical easy, horizontal difficult. Caution. In one of the lessons, I actually explained why it seems weird. It is perfectly, uh, I wouldn't say logical or intuitive, but it is um, uh, mathematically, it makes perfect sense if you think about the math behind it. Anyways, I'm going to write the equation in green because y equals, so the parent function is x squared, yeah, yeah, that's the parent function, we know that. The transform function, I'm going to use uh, pink, I, w I probably should use red and blue, but I ain't got red and blue, so, <laughs> so it moved down four spaces, down four, bam, okay. Um, this one, the original function is absolute value function, 
So the new function is the absolute value function, but it moved up to up to up to up up to down down makes perfect sense. When, you, when your brain sees the word down, you think minus. When your brain sees the word up, you think plus. Uh huh. Yeah. And then horizontal. Uh, uh, you've heard me say it probably too many times over the last few days, but horizontal. It does the opposite of what you would think it would do logically. Anyways, the uh, parent function is y equals x squared, obviously, that guy right there. And it moved over to the right 4, right 4. So you would think, this is what you would think, right 4. That is wrong. <laughs> it actually is the opposite of that. Bam. Also notice, by the way, if it's inside, see how that minus 4 is inside of some sort of grouping symbol, uh, in this case it's parentheses, then that is how you automatically know what's a horizontal something, and then that plus or minus means translation. Okay. Uh, horizontal translation left. So you would think, you would think, uh, it'd be left to. That's what you would think, but you would be wrong. It actually does the opposite. Bam. And I don't want to. This is a review, so I don't want to get into too much depth uh, as to why it's opposite. One of the videos explains very clearly why it's opposite, and it has to do something with the number zero, the power of zero. Okay. Uh, okay. That's not too bad. Seven minutes. The next one, dilations. Th that's the one. That's the one that's going to kick your butt. So, you might want to watch that one a couple times.